Hi, this is Rob, GW8RDI, and this is the version A7 open firmware for USDX. And as you can see here, this is version A7. Just look at that again there. A7. Just comes up when you turn on. The um, improvements on this version of uh, Guido's uh, fantastic um, Arduino, Arduino USDX micro SDX software uh, it's basically for the units that have more bands and it also resolves the distortion of the SSB TX by taking out quad flipping uh, which seems to have been enabled in a lot of units so um, there are also minor changes and improvements to the user interface for example in the menu uh, you can now basically go all the way through it and you'll see there are a couple of ex extra functions for example uh, where is it now? Cat here can be turned on and off. And when it's on, you'll see a C on the display. The call sign here is optional. You can put in USDX Plus or whatever you want. Um, so when you sell a unit, you don't have to reprogram it, or you can have your own call sign. So let's turn that back off. And it disables Cat, so that improves the processing slightly. Um, so you can set through the menu, quad there off, so that improves the TX, gets rid of the TX distortion, and TX quality is now excellent. Backlight, which varies between models, so there's a configuration for that. Um, one of the other things you can do, with so many bands, um, rather than actually <clears throat> just going in one direction to change bands, you can now tune down and go backwards, so you've got fully directional band change by double clicking on the rotary here. Uh, one of the other things it does, which for me was a bit annoying, was that with eight bands um, every time I changed frequency I lost it went back to the default frequency and mode for that band. So um, now what you can do, for example here we can set this to LSB, change the frequency, change band Tune down, go back, and you'll see that we're back on the same frequency. LSB, change that again, and then if we go back up, comes back to exactly the same frequency. So it remembers the frequency on all the bands. Uh, it's easier to change bands in both directions. Uh, SSB TX quality is improved. Uh, there's also a few other modifications to the code, uh, such that the uh, receive quality is now excellent. And you'll note that it doesn't get the vibration going back. Uh, and that's, that's basically it. As you can see here, I've also got an IQ interface, so I can plug it into my laptop and I can get a full... Um, 100k spectrum display which is also fantastic so it really converts this rig into a, a great little unit okay